அடிப்பட்ட இனவெறியர்களை பேச்சாளர்களாக வைத்துக் கொண்டு You can't come in civil and just say that you are police. There are enough fellows who have murdered people who have come and pretended to be police. So I asked him, who the hell are you? Who are you to tell me that? You establish your identity. Show me your identity card. None of which they are prepared to do. I am raising a point of order and I am asking the minister concern. The, the concern, the concern MP has raised. Yeah. You are assuming, you are assuming that. No, you are assuming. You are assuming. வெரணி சிட்டிவரம் கண்ணகை அம்மன் ஆலய ரதோத்சவ நேரலை சிட்டிவரம் டாட் காம் மற்றும் சிட்டிவரம் கண்ணகை அம்மன் டெம்பிள் யூடியூப் அலைவரிசையிலும் நேரலையாக கண்டுகளிக்கலாம் எதிர்வரும் பதினேழாம் தேதி சனிக்கிழமை காலை ஏழு மணி முதல் ரதோத்சவ நேரலை உங்களை நாடி வருகிறது தீர்த்தோத்சவ நேரலை பதினெட்டாம் தேதி காலை ஏழு முப்பது மணி முதல் ஒளிபரப்பாக உள்ளது நான் சபாநாயகர் இந்த நாடாளுமன்ற உறுப்பினர் நாடாளுமன்றத்திற்கு வந்து தன்னுடைய சிறப்புரிமையை தன்னுடைய பாராளுமன்ற கடமைகளை ஆற்றுவதற்கு போலீசார் தடைகளை ஏற்படுத்துகின்ற பொழுது அதை தடுப்பதற்கு சபாநாயகர் ஆக்கபூர்வமான நடவடிக்கைகளை எடுத்திருக்கவில்லை எங்களை பொறுத்தவரையிலே இந்த நாட்டினுடைய அதி உயர் பீடம் என்று சொல்லப்படுகின்ற நாடாளுமன்றம் சட்டங்களை இயற்றுகின்ற நாடாளுமன்றம் சட்டத்து பாராளுமன்றத்தில் இருக்கக்கூடிய உறுப்பினர்களுக்கு சிறப்புரிமை ஒன்று இருக்கின்ற பொழுது அந்த சிறப்புரிமையை மீறுகின்ற செயல்பாடு சபாநாயகருக்கு தெரியப்படுத்தப்பட்டிருந்த நிலைமையிலும் கூட சபாநாயகர் அதனை தடுப்பதற்கு நடவடிக்கை எடுக்காமல் அவர்கள் போலீசார் சட்டத்துக்கு விரோதமான முறையிலே அவரை கைது செய்து கொண்டு சென்று மிக கேவலமான முறையிலே நடந்து கொள்வதற்கு அவருக்கு உயிராபத்தை ஏற்படுத்தக்கூடிய விதமாக நடந்து கொள்வதற்கு சபாநாயகர் உடந்தையாக இருந்திருக்கிறார் மருதங்கணியிலே நடைபெற்ற சம்பவம் தொடர்பாக போலீஸ் பேச்சாளர் அவர்கள் போலீஸ் பேச்சாளர் போலீசாருடைய பொய்யான கருத்துக்களின் அடிப்படையிலே ஊடகங்களுக்கு கருத்து சொல்லியிருந்தார் கஜேந்திரகுமார் பொன்னம்பலம் அவர்களுக்கு எதிராக கஜேந்திரகுமார் பொன்னம்பலம் குற்றமளைத்தது போன்ற ஒரு உண்மைக்கு புறம்பான ஒரு கருத்தை ஊடகங்களுக்கு ஊடாக பரப்பியிருந்தார் அதாவது மருதங்கணியிலே நடைபெற்ற சம்பவத்தை தொடர்பாக எங்களுடைய நாடாளுமன்ற உறுப்பினரிடம் வாக்குமூலங்கள் எதுவும் பெறாமல் அவருடைய தரப்பு கருத்துக்கள் எதுவும் கேட்கப்படாமலே அப்பட்டமான பொய்யான கருத்துக்களை போலீசார் போலீசாருடைய தரப்பிலிருந்து தயார்படுத்தி கஜேந்திரகுமார் பொன்னம்பலம் அவர்களை குற்றவாளியாக்குகின்ற விதமாக ஊடகங்களுக்கு போலீஸ் தரப்பினாலே ஒரு செய்தி சொல்லப்பட்டிருக்கின்றது இதன் ஊடாக சிங்கள மக்கள் மத்தியிலே எங்களுடைய கட்சி தலைவரை ஒரு தவறான ஒருவராக ஒரு வன்முறையாளராக சித்தரிப்பதற்கு ஒரு முயற்சி மேற்கொள்ளப்பட்டிருக்கின்றது அதன் மூலமாக அவருடைய உயிருக்கு ஆபத்து ஏற்படுத்துவதற்கான தயார்படுத்தல்கள் நடைபெறுகிறதா என்கின்ற ஒரு சந்தேகம் எங்களுக்கு ஏற்பட்டிருக்கின்றது கஜேந்திரகுமார் பொன்னம்பலம் அவர்களுக்கு நடைபெற்ற சம்பவம் தொடர்பாக கடந்த ஐந்தாம் தேதி எங்களுடைய கௌரவ அமைச்சர் டிரா நல்லஸ் அவர்கள் ஒரு அறிக்கை கோரியிருப்பதாக ஊடகங்களிலே ஒரு செய்தி வந்திருந்தது நான் கௌரவ அமைச்சரிடம் கேட்க விரும்புகிறேன் அந்த அறிக்கையை நீங்கள் பெற்றுக்கொண்டீர்களா அந்த அறிக்கை பெற்றுக்கொள்ளப்படாமலே எங்களுடைய பாராளுமன்ற உறுப்பினருடைய கருத்துக்களை பெற்றுக்கொள்ளாமலே அவருடைய வாக்குமூலங்களை பதிந்து கொள்ளாமலே உங்களுடைய போலீஸ் துறையினுடைய பேச்சாளர் எவ்வாறு ஒரு உண்மைக்கு புறம்பான கதையை சொல்லி சிங்கள சமூகத்தின் மத்தியிலே கஜேந்திரகுமார் பொன்னம்பலத்துக்கு எதிராக பொய்யான கருத்துக்களை பரவுவதற்கு நீங்கள் அனுமதித்தீர்கள் பட்ட இனவெறியர்களை பேச்சாளர்களாக வைத்துக் கொண்டு இன நல்லிணக்கத்தை ஏற்படுத்த முடியும் என்று நீங்கள் நம்புகிறீர்களா சபத்துமணி மெத்துமாகி நம கியலா கஜேந்திரன் பொன்னம்பலம் மந்திரி துமாட்ட வெச்ச சித்தியகன கதா கேருவா மம வார்த்தாவா கில்லுவா பலவினி தவசே மே சித்தியகன மங் வார்த்தாவா கில்லுவா வித்தரண்ணமே மங் உசாவியட்ட தாப்பு வீடியோ வீடியோசு கெனல்ல மம் பெலுவா ஏக பெலுவாம இத பெஹதிலி மந்திரி துமா மந்திரி துமே துமே ஹட்டியட்ட ஹெசிரிலா நேத்தன போலீஸ் நிலதாரின்ட கத்தாகரப்பு விதிய கட்ட வகாப்பாங் உம்ப கட்ட வகாப்பாங் கியல கேப் மங்க இவர எனக்காங்க இந்த மந்திரி துவால் பினிஷ் ஆஃப்டர் தட் யூ கேன் சே எனி திங் கியல திபுனா எதோட மம இங்கிஹாட்ட கீழ மம சியலு விஸ்தர போலீசியன் லபாகத்தா எதோட்ட மட்ட தனகாண்ட லபுனே மெத்துமா එම එම ස්ථානයට යනකොට එතන යම් කිසි සෙනගක් ඉඳලා තිබුණා ඒක නිසා 
විභාග මධ්‍යස්ථානය ආරක්ෂාව බලාගෙන හිටපු පොලිස් නිලධාරීන් පොලිසියට දැනුම් දීලා පොලිසියෙන් සිවිල් ඇඳුමෙන් අපේ ස්පෙෂල් බ්‍රාන්ච් එකේ නිලධාරීන් දෙදෙනෙක් එතනට පැමිණිලා තිබුණා එතකොට ඒ නිලධාරීන්ගෙන් මෙතුමා සහ මෙතුමා සමග සිටපු උදවිය ප්‍රශ්න කරන්න ගත්තා කවුද ඒ නිලධාරී කියලා එතකොට මේගොල්ලන් පොලිසියෙන් කියන එක ඉතා පැහැදිලිව සඳහන් කරනවා පළවෙනි වතාවේ සමහර විට හැඳුනුම් පත පෙන්වන්න නැතුව ඇති ඒක මම පිළිගන්නවා නමුත් ඒගොල්ලන් පැහැදිලිව සඳහන් කරනවා ඒ වීඩියෝ එකේ හොඳට පැහැදිලිව තියෙනවා මෙතුමා ඒ එක පොලිස් නිලධාරීගේ පිටිපස්සෙන් ගිහිල්ලා මෙහෙම මේ පිටිපස්සේ කොලර් එකෙන් අල්ලනවා ඒකම අතිනුත් අල්ලනවා එතකොට ඒ නිලධාරිය අත ගස්සලා අත ගස්සලා දුවනවා දිව්වට පස්සේ මෙතුමා යනවා අර මේ විභාග මධ්‍යස්ථානයේ වැට ළඟ ඉන්නේ පොලිස් නිලධාරීන් දෙන්න ළඟට ඊට හේතුව ඒ දෙන්න එතන ඉඳන් කෑ ගහනවා මේ මේ පොලිසියායේ කියලා එතකොට මෙතුමා ගිහිල්ලා අර වගේ අර වගේ කතාවක් ඇති වෙනවා පොලිස් නිලධාරීන් එක්ක කට වහපන් ම කට වහපන් කියලා ඒ වගේ වෙනවා එතකොට ඒක ඒක පොලිස් නිලධාරීන්ට බාධා කිරීමක් honorable minister with respect number 1 all these people that i had interactions with that you claim that you saw on the video do you agree are all in civils yes right my point is you might know that they are your officers i don't right i can't take their word for it i can't take their word for it if they come to a place and if they are trying to act in the name of police they must establish themselves as police officers you can't come in civil and just say that you are police there are enough fellows who have murdered people who have come and pretended to be police i want to know that you are in fact who you say you are they refuse to produce their identity right so all your assumptions are based on the fact that i knew that they were police officers no you show me in any one of those videos you show me in any one of those videos whether i am arguing with anybody in an uniform right you say that you have got a report can you tell this house that you will produce that report and submit it to this house honorable member you say that you have called for a report no. you told uh, the uh, media uh, that you have called for a report once i get the final report i will so you are you are today will. today you are talking without but having a final no, report no 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 but i have got today you are talking without having a final why, report why are you why are you not allowing me to finish my uh, statement then you can uh, uh, say whatever you want when you went up to the fence and when you shouted that that person not in uniform saying katawaha pang he was with another officer who was in uniform right will you will you accept that the point is honorable minister again it is not the person with the uniform that i had a problem with the person in civils was the one who he was who was trying to order me with regards to how i must behave with regards to a person who I, who the people in that gathering had surrounded now that person who were in the gathering Uh, who who came to our gathering was also in civil right who Honor- also was in Honor- civil who was calling our meeting illegal honorable so member without who what right does anybody have to come and say that my meetings are illegal when i am a member of parliament and i am actually serving my constituents to say that they are illegal without them trying to sh- prove that who they are Hon- honorable member when you when you shouted at the person who was in civis he was with another officer in uniform no no, no it's not uh, it is uh, it is right he was in uniform and then you went and said katawaha pang and all that honorable member that is not acceptable whatever you say that is not acceptable and as the minister in charge of police i just can't tolerate that kind of thing and i can i cannot tell the police not to take action 
I don't, I really don't think the police has done anything wrong in from the fifth to yesterday's arrest, right? They have followed every single step what they should do. On the fifth itself, they informed the speaker that they were going to arrest you. So all that was done. Honorable Minister, now you make allegations quite, uh, uh, quite unbelievably. As someone who has called for a report, you have, uh, you have made allegations against me listening to a police, uh, listening to a police officer who's a, who, who are parties to this incident without even, before you even got the report. So you're quite clearly, it, it is very clear to me that the police were acting on your advice. But let me tell you this, Mr. Jayantavira Sekra, a very senior President's Council is here. He's a criminal lawyer. You see, when the police come in civils, the first thing they must do if they are carrying out their duty, when they are going to especially interact with civilians, is they must identify themselves and say that they are police officers. If the police officers concerned came up to me, identified themselves as police officers and said, sir, you can't have a meeting here for what, what, whatever reason. Let's say they told me that there is an exam uh, center uh, next door. You see, you, you can, you can, that can be a disturbance to the exam center. So therefore, you can't have a meeting here. I would have accepted that. The people who are sitting the exams, their parents are my constituents. They vote for me, not for, not for you. It is in my interest to make sure that I don't disturb. Right? But it was a coordinating center. And it was 3.30. There was no exam going on. There was no exam going. The last exam that was going on finished at 3 o'clock island-wide, right? The person that the Honorable Minister says who was in the exam centre didn't even come into the picture. It was the two individuals who came to disturb the meeting in civils who repeatedly, despite me asking them to produce the identity card, who refused to. It is they who then shouted out, shouted out to the people in the, in the, in the school and these are all in the videos. I hope you produce the videos. It is in my interest that you produce the videos, right? They shouted out to the people in the, uh, in the, in the school to say that they are police officers to come here because the people here have surrounded them. The people in the, in the playground have surrounded them. It is then that two officers come out, two, two individuals come out. One is in uniform. The person in uniform who was carrying an automatic rifle did not open his mouth did not open his mouth. It was the person next door who was in civils who was interacting with me. And what did he say? The first thing he said was that these are all police officers, people who have hit me. The two individuals who came to the playground, one of whom hit me and did a getaway, both of them who refused to establish their identity. Someone in a school comes out in civils, shouts across to me, in a rude way and says that they're all police officers, they're all our people, you can't keep them, let them go. So I asked him, who the hell are you? Who are you to tell me that? You establish your identity. Show me your identity card. None of which they are prepared to do. So without them establishing themselves whilst they are being in civils that they are police officers, how on earth am I supposed to know that they are police officers? They can be your SLPP thugs. They acted certainly like that. Why should I accept them as police officers? So if as a minister, you don't know this basic, this basic principle of policing, it only means that it is on your instructions. It is on your instructions that they have been behaving in such thuggish way. And in an illegal way, they were... They were serving your oh, purposes. I am raising a point of order and I am asking the minister concern. The, the concern, the concern MP has raised, the concern MP has raised two questions. One, it was 3.30 in the afternoon, there was no exam going on. Right? Secondly, can anybody in CVs come and claim that they are police officers without establishing their identity. Are we supposed to take their word? Any thug on the road will say, I'm a police officer. You must show your identity. Those are the two questions Honorable MP has asked. Thirdly, Honorable Minister, you explained about his arrest. Now, the police knew very well that he was traveling from Jaffna to Kalambu to attend Parliament. Right? Under Parliament Powers and Privileges Act, 
it is illegal to stop an MP from attending parliament. What was the, what was the hurry in arresting him yesterday during the sessions of parliament this week? Um, they, they, they had initially informed him to come and make a statement today, not yesterday. What, why couldn't they wait till Friday until the parliament sessions were over for him to, he, he hadn't committed a murder and was fleeing the country or anything like that. They knew very well that he had traveled from Jaffna to attend the parliament session. I am raising this honorable minister as, as a member of parliament which concerns you as well, all of us. We have, we have a privilege to attend parliament. That, that must take precedence. The law, the law permits, the law says, assures us that we can attend parliament and we cannot be prevented from attending parliament. The police, the police Are under you knew very well that he was in Kalamu to attend parliament. And what was, what was this, what was this hurry to arrest him and take him all the way to Kalinochi? Hurry. Honorable member, you asked me three questions. One was uh, about uh, not showing the ID. Now, this is what our honorable member says. But what the police say is that they showed the ID, but he tried to grab the ID. So we leave it at that. We will wait for the video footage for that. Then um, the second question you asked me uh, was about uh, coming to Colombo to attend parliament, is it? Or something else? About the ID? No, right. Right. And that, that uh, center, I don't think, from the information I have, it wasn't an examination center. It was a center where all the papers were brought to one place and distributed from there. A place like that. You're correct. Honorable Minister, it was not an examination center, it was a coordinating center. That is where they normally come and ha have the uh, uh, exam papers before they are distributed. And because, because it was a Friday, there were no papers also there. That also I double checked, there were no papers even there. Right, so the third question was about coming to Parliament. Yeah. Honorable Member, that's what you asked me. No, no. So can I can I explain can I explain that now he they were looking for him on the fifth to obtain a statement. Then you say he came to Colombo to attend Parliament. On the sixth he did not attend Parliament even though he was in Colombo. Let let me finish. Let 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 me <laughs> let me finish. Five o'clock oh, in the, the evening, you mean? Honorable member, when I said he was not in parliament, I was here from morning, he was not in parliament, now he says he came at five o'clock, right? So that is not to attend parliament, right? <laughs> Secretary, Gen Secretary, General Secretary General would have known about it, but Secretary General didn't inform the police, no? Because she doesn't have to inform the police. No, no. No, 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 that is all wrong. And now he says, he say, you are assuming, you are assuming that. No, you are assuming. You are assuming. No, there is no point of order. Honorable member, there is no point of order there. Honorable member, there is no point of order there. Just because you can shout, 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 don't think that we are going to sh shut up and wait. Yeah. No, there is no point of order there. Yeah. Right? Honorable Minister, you are saying that I never attended Parliament. I'm saying the Secretary General is present. I came to Parliament at 5 o'clock. I handed over uh, my written uh, statement for a breach of privilege to the uh, Secretary General. The speaker knew. Order, please. The speaker knew. Order, order please. Garu Katana Gatuma Mula Yes, please. Honorable member, I said, I said you were not in parliament in the morning. That's what I said. I said, I said, I said I was here in the morning. On the 6th. 
No, I was talking. No, I was talking. No, no, I was talking. Right? Please. Who, uh, who, who was? No, no, I think. How the car got there? How the car got there? How the car got there? Please, now it is not the time to raise this, this kind of point of orders and because you know now the matter is under control, matter, matter is under legal uh, authority. So why do you want to worry about it?